Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to market your products on Pinterest. First thing, you want to launch the Pinterest app. Let's say in this example we are trying to market our product which in this example will be watches. Let's say we have a bunch of vintage Seiko watches and we want to sell the watches through the Pinterest. First of all, you, you gotta do your own research and due diligence, right? You wanna click on Seiko on the search bar and then you wanna click on the top left side where you see the additional settings. Here you wanna click on the actual products. We don't wanna watch videos, boards and profiles. Let's see what kind of Seiko products are currently on the market and what are the prices, how people structure their posts and we can see are there any sales because remember if you see listings but you don't see any reviews or ratings this means that this particular item did not have any sales as you can see over here we have a bunch of different listings for example let's take a look at this one this is coming from chrono right we all know chrono 24 not much of a of explanation very very simple uh no sale on this particular one let's find something that already got attention and something that already got sale if you scroll over here if you if you can see most of the pictures are not professional most of the pictures are very genuine so i, I guess this is the goal over here this is the way how they can actually reach out to the broader audience so this for example over here if you see it comes with the actual tag. Let's see where they're actually selling it. When you click on additional details, again, this is Chrono 24. On the previous examples I showed you, right, a lot of the products were actually listed on eBay. This is very interesting. And I presume seeing that all these people are actually listing their items on the same website, you may have guessed that you see, there's a bunch of Etsy listings over here. Let's take a look at this seller. Okay, so now, as we see over here, this seller includes much more description, much more information. This is definitely uh, helpful, considering that this person is ranking much better than other listings. Especially considering this particular model. I haven't seen this model before, but... Uh, as you can see, everything, especially if you're selling internationally, Etsy probably is the way to go. But let's let's take a look even even more models over here. You want to make sure that you have all the necessary data so you can compete appropriately, right? So we saw a bunch of different uh, individual sellers. Now we're looking at a store with over 108,000 followers. So they're selling this particular watch let's take a look what their description looks like so they simply input the description from the actual page let's take a look at here not much of a description but having this large audience over here uh, indicates that the pictures are actually the most important part not the description let's create our own listing for this example i downloaded already an image uh, from google of Seiko watch right and as we saw we can include the model we can say that this is a Seiko men's watch this is a general description then we can go down and simply include the actual sizing right we can include that this is 36 millimeter for example then you can include that you know box and papers included right then you can say that you know automatic and all the details that are relevant to your watch don't include something that is not relevant and what is not usually part of the description of the watch because as we saw all the listings on the platform here are very targeted they don't include stuff that are simply coming from Wikipedia, the story or, or the history of Seiko or the history of this model. You presume that, uh, remember, there is a particular limitation on the number of characters you can use in the description here. So you want to be very specific. And like I mentioned, the photos have to be very, very good. Doesn't mean professional, it just means a good quality. 
people have to be able to see if you look at our picture people are able to see absolutely everything of the watch the size the bracelet the bezel uh, everything is here the dial so this is very very important the last step that you want to focus again is don't forget to include hashtags related to your particular listing in our case we have seiko and we have watches and i saw additional hashtag that looks very very good watches for men right because they could be a bunch of watches out there last thing is you want to copy and paste the link from the actual website or hosting agent you're using copy and paste the link over here and hopefully you're going to get much more sales there is something i'm gonna give you for the last thing is over here advanced settings the last function essentially this will give you the the capability you know to not allow any comments if you want to right uh, because they could be bots they could be spams they could be a lot of people you know saying don't buy it you know from here uh, you know on amazon is cheaper or something like this you can prevent this happening uh, also you know you can actually include uh, shopping recommendations this means that people can actually shop products similar to what is shown on the pin if you have a multiple seiko watches and if you have this actually toggle in this means that there is a chance for pinterest to promote different watches from your store or from your page to other users so you might actually have a additional sales at the end usually when you start a business and try to compete with someone on a new platform you need to study the market right well, guess what? Pinterest is not like the other platforms. When you pick your direct competitor selling the same exact product or offering the same exact service, like this table or furnishing item over here, right? You would see who is the next competitor on the line by simply scrolling down. Well, guess what? Look at this. All the Etsy sellers and original with the own website as you can see over here, bedroom makeover ideas, right? And every other competitor is right over here. Dark classy, right? You don't have to go on Etsy and look for your competitors to see what is working and what isn't. Because yes, you could see the orders, right? You could see how many people are actually viewing the items. But you cannot identify which type of content is actually generating the most. Just look at this. If you click on this offer over here, right? You see what they're offering. You want to scroll down. And you want to see that there are other sellers who are selling similar items. You could simply get inspired by what they're selling. And it's not only people selling the physical items. Just look at this page. This is home office ideas, right? And if you click on the items that are promoted, right? You could simply see what is stuck. And you could see what is actually recommended by simply identifying this part of the puzzle. So the main point over here is that you should go on Pinterest and first study your competitors because it is very easy to find them. It is very easy to study them. While if you go on just the platform they're selling, for example, you go to Amazon, you go to Etsy, you're just going to see the number of sales. You're just going to see how many listings they have, right? But guess what? They're not going to act the same way on Pinterest the way they did on their own platform or the third-party software, right? On Pinterest, they're only going to pick the pictures that already worked out, the content that already makes sales on the other platform. So essentially, they are taking what is already proven to be working on Etsy, on Amazon, on whatever platform or website they're using as a landing page. And they're taking it and they're just putting it here on Pinterest. So essentially, you're coming here on Pinterest, you're doing your research, and you're just collecting the best working strategies from your competitors. Just, just imagine, right? You're not going and scrolling through the listings. Uh, you know, some store on, on Etsy could have uh, 150 listings and they could generate their leads or sales just from like five listings. And you will have a hard time finding which are these five right but over here you're sure because if you go on this page over here right no 
they just have an arrangement of only the best content. You don't see a mediocre content, right? You cannot publish a content like this on Etsy. And you know that very well. And remember, the main point of promoting or running ads on Pinterest is that you essentially have a double feed. As you can see, the feed over here is split into two sections. So the chances of you getting skipped and not seen is very, very high because there are many other pictures or videos that are running at the same time that will distract the viewer. So this is what I meant by saying that you only have to create the best content. You only have to copy only the best strategies that are working because if you lose your time with mediocre pictures or videos, people will simply skip them, right? Do you see how many pictures we skipped over here? Like this prints over here on, on the Scarface. You see how mediocre looks like? It's obvious Photoshop, right? It's not It's not uh, what the actual product probably looks like. Or if it looks like this, you know, you understand how bad it is, right? While you, you have something like, which is a high quality content, right? You could see that a lot of these time pieces over here, look at this carpet on, on, on the right side, right? So this is what I'm trying to say. Don't try to be, you know, mediocre. All you gotta do is to copy what is working and make it a little better. It's easier to find your competition. It's easier to make your research here on the platform. And like I said, you could have your chance by simply using the working strategy. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how people are making a lot of money on Pinterest app and it's all about how you promote your product. I'm going to give you two examples and your mind will simply be blown away. Let's launch the Pinterest app first. Let me show you this product over here. You see somebody actually sold out this product on Etsy and they're selling it for $49.99. Well, guess what? The same exact product over here on Sheen is selling for only $8.90. Same exact print. You see, keep on going, never give up, right? It's only $8.90, 56 orders so far. If you go all the way up, they're selling the same exact one. Do you see that? Never give up, right? Keep on going for 50 bucks. How about this? This is the power of Pinterest, my dear friends. You can find any product that is competing with you, that is part of the niche, it is part of the industry. And you can find how people are actually selling it. Are people drop shipping it? Are people creating a private label? As you can see over here, there are a bunch of different sellers selling the same exact product, same print, same design, absolutely the same product. And the disparity in prices is mind blowing. Just think about what is the difference between selling a hundred pieces of this nine dollars, right, per piece, which is nine hundred dollars in revenue, versus the person who is selling it for fifty? Hundred pieces for fifty is essentially five thousand dollars, my dear friends. So I hope you very, very clearly understand the difference between marketing the same exact product but paying attention who is selling this product to. So very carefully that when we click on the first option, which was the $50, I will go back and I will show you this one for $50, right? And when you click and visit the Etsy store, these people are selling in Europe. Simply because as you can see, the price is in euros, okay? Versus if you go on the Sheen, Right, I, I'm not sure if Sheen is available in, in Europe, but if you simply click on it again, click the notebook, scroll down to the competition, click on the Sheen, you visit the actual Sheen store, and you will see that this is not available in Europe. This is only for US. So this is how people, obviously, we can speculate that they're, uh, you know, getting the product from Sheen or from other Chinese supplier, but people are making a lot of money. And just think about, you might be doing this <laughs> from the comfort of your home, just taking a better pictures, 
creating a better sales offer, sales pitch. Because just compare over here. Look at the description in this, you know, the cheaper one, right? One piece, you know, em embossed cover, notebook, you know, blah, blah, blah. Nothing special. Pictures, it just looks okay. Nothing, wow. If you go back on the, on the 50 bucks, right? Look at this. Things are looking much more professional. It looks like this is a very good gift for a person that is uh, into business. The person that is is creating his own, you know, uh, text, own plans, own, uh, you know, notebooks, taking notes. A person that is very organized. You can give this to someone that, you know, essentially has everything. It looks like a good gift for a person with money. It looks like a good gift for a person that is just, uh, you know, into artistic uh, hobbies. So want you to pay very close attention how you can market the same exact product but because your marketing is better you can simply charge more 10 times 20 times 30 times more and this is how you can make a lot of money same pictures will not do the job same product could do the job but the same marketing strategy and the same pictures will not do the job for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more video guys i'm going to show you how people are making a lot of money on pinterest they're using their imagination and sometimes the skills that you need are not the skills that you're actually selling let's launch the pinterest app and let me show you what i'm even talking about look at these sneakers over here people are selling a custom air jordan sneakers okay we can speculate how they actually end up with this product but Guess what? If you know that there is a market for customization, you can simply go out there, find someone who is actually into coloring, painting, shoes, clothes, right? And you can buy the plain Air Jordan. You can pay the person to customize the shoes, take a pictures and publish it. And guess what? You can do the same exact business model with any product. You can go and find somebody who is doing engraving, right? You can buy a nice bow pants, a plain... Uh, silver metal stainless steel right you can buy a bulk of these pens and you can offer engraving right you can buy the pens for uh, 50 cents on a dollar and you can find somebody to do a 50 cents engraving and there you have it you got the one dollar cost acquisition on your product and you can charge for 9.99 who's not gonna buy a ball pen for 9.99 right with a custom engraving don't forget you're going to be charging shipping so on and so forth but this is just an example over here guys i want you to look that they're charging for this particular sneakers over here almost 250 dollars okay very very interesting when you actually scroll down you will see that there are other people who are doing something similar we all know if you go on the actual nike website they will offer you a customization on some of the shoes right uh, but they're not going to offer you something like this. Just look at these pairs over here, right? This looks crazy. looks insane. Somebody really put a lot of work. And you see the prices are all the same. And if they're here, guess what? A lot of people are actually shopping stuff like this. A lot of people are into stuff like this. So I want you to think about what custom item or custom service you can provide or you know someone that could provide and i want you to connect the dots i want you to find the product plain and simple find the service that will customize the product then i want you to order or make a sample take a nice very high quality pictures and then i want you to come over here and publish it because if you look people are doing crazy stuff look at these shoes these shoes probably were simple plain nike air jordan and people just customize it like crazy right and there is a huge market around this we all know there are a lot of people who are actually you know just buying the shoes and just keeping the shoes at home it's like a painting like a work of art they're not using the shoes look at look at what's what's happening over here the prices are crazy you see this for 720 dollars and this is coming from nike okay you see the other you see people selling it on poshmark people have their own landing pages there's a major major interest and demand for shoes like this customization everywhere so i want you to think about 
customizable item that you could have, right? Like I mentioned, pens, notebooks, you can offer, like in the previous video, I shared with you how somebody is actually selling a thick notebook uh, with a leather cover and with emboss. If you can offer, you know, some crazy embossing design, something nice, uh, and, you know, you can source the, the notebooks, give uh, a very good cost basis, and then you can simply compete straight with any other uh, seller here on the platform. You can customize absolutely everything. So I want you to think about what you can customize, uh, who will customize it for you if you're not so artistic. I want you to think about or look someone who can actually give you a good price. There are plenty of people with a lot of skills. They can draw, they can, they can create designs, they can emboss, they can do embroideries, they can do uh, engravings. I want you to think about the particular process of customization and I want you to create a sample and then start publishing a lot of pictures, high quality pictures, and let's see what is going to happen. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.